Flyers is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Play and Trade Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Hey, welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where of course we play it and trade it. There's a special guitar in each collection, and that is a guitar with P90s. And today we're gonna to be checking out the Epiphone Les Paul Special in TV Yellow with a pair of P90 pickups. Its counterpart from Gibson runs $17.99. This comes in at a very affordable $449. And if you watch my Epiphone Buyer's Guide, I say this might be a must-own guitar because if you're trying to find that space in your collection for a P90 guitar, how can you go wrong at $449, the TV Yellow? We'll talk about all the features when we take it apart and put it on the bench, and then of course we'll plug it in and play it. But at the top, if you're in the market for any new gear like this guitar or anything else, please use our purchase link down in the description. We partnered with Zounds to make it really easy to buy new gear, fast free shipping, payment plans are probably the best thing, no credit checks, no interest, makes it very easy to buy new gear. Without further ado, why don't we go ahead and put this on the bench. This is gonna be the Les Paul Special in the Inspired by Gibson line. You have a nice 50s thick neck, pair of P90s. I can't wait to take it apart. Let's head over to the bench and get to work. All right, from top to bottom, starting up at the top of the headstock, we have the Inspired by Gibson open book, also called the Mustache Headstock. Very cool. Les Paul Special screened on here. And um, coming down, you got a synthetic nut. You have an Indian laurel board with 22 frets. A hallmark characteristic of the Les Paul Special is to have a bound fretboard. Originally rosewood, and I'll tell you what, Indian laurel feels very close to rosewood. I'm very pleased every time I play an Indian laurel board. The neck itself is gonna be a 50s profile, so you're definitely gonna feel the heft when you're playing this guitar. They got a nice set of uh, Epiphone Deluxe double line tuners with the ivory buttons, which looks super cool. And coming on down the fretboard, we'll look at the body. This TV yellow color is super cool. A uh, multi-ply pick guard. You've got your standard volume, volume, tone, tone with upgraded CTS pots. We'll look at all the electronics under the hood. But let's get these strings off and take a look. I can't wait. I love the simplicity of a Les Paul Special. It's just a slab, mahogany body, no maple cap, and it's a real rock machine. Let's get the strings off and get to work. Another characteristic of the Les Paul Special is a wraparound tailpiece. This one is super simple, and it does have kind of these lightning bolt uh, designs to have a rough approximation of where the string should sit for some sort of intonation, but really the only adjustment you have is kind of side to side with these adjustment screws, and then height adjustable uh, with the post into these bushings on the mahogany body. We'll get this out of the way, take a look at this Indian laurel board, and uh, get some neck measurements on this 50s C profile neck. You have a nut at 1.67 inches, What? <laughs> this just happened. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. That's a new one. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> oh, man. Up a phone. I want to love you. Come on. First fret at 0 0.86 inches. That's a thick neck up to 0 0.99 inches at the 12th. That's actually the thickest neck that we've yet measured. Mahogany body is gonna come in at 1.8 inches. Again, no maple cap, just a simple slab of mahogany. The Les Paul Special occupied kind of the intermediate range in the line when it was introduced in the 50s, and it sat between the Les Paul Junior with even more stripped down appointments and the Les Paul Standard. The Les Paul Special was special because it had binding, and it had the extra P90 pickup instead of just the one single on the Les Paul Jr. Very cool guitars, and the ones from the 50s will run you more than 449, I promise you that. So P90 pickups are old school pickups developed in the 40s, and they were on every Gibson guitar until the humbucker was developed, the famous patent applied for humbucker in 1957. P90s still have a great, great sound, beautiful warm body in the neck, nice biting snarl when you crank it up in bridge position, awesome pickups to this day. They've really stood the test of time. They're pretty simple in terms of how they're mounted. Basically, they're just held into the mahogany body route with these long screws here, and then they're height adjustable under spring tension and they have typically just a black cover. Here's what the actual P90 looks like itself. It is a different size than a humbucker, so you can't easily just swap between P90s and humbuckers, so you kind of want to decide ahead of time which you want, which kind you want on the guitar. Uh, I'll go ahead and move these springs out of the way. 
and pull the neck pickup off as well. Interesting, that's the first time I've seen the cable come through on this side in a new guitar. So those long screws mount the P90s directly into the mahogany body on an Epiphone. On a Gibson, you typically see a metal plate. And then foam has always been used. Um, you can either add foam or take it away to adjust the heights if you need even more of a height adjustment based on what you're working with. But the foam also plays a double uh, role of also holding your springs in place when you go to put it back because it can be a little, you have to finagle kind of how you put it back and be a little tricky sometimes. And these pickups are going to be the Epiphone Pro P90s. And these are soap bar shape instead of the dog ear, which have the triangle dog ears that attach them straight to the body that you see on some other guitars like a Les Paul Jr. All right, flipping on the multimeter, we'll get a reading on these P90 pickups. We're 7.6 in bridge, 7.6 in neck, 3.8 combined. The big thing about the P90s, they're very, very sensitive to height changes and you'll have a pronounced volume difference in especially the neck pickup compared to the output of the bridge pickup if your neck pickup's too high. So one thing I like to do with P90 guitars is just kind of balance the height to find the right uh, balance of tone and volume. And really, you can only do that, in my opinion, once the guitar is restrung, plugged into an amp, and then you sit there with a screwdriver and just try to get it right. Not hard to do, but definitely important. Otherwise, you'll overpower the bridge with that big sounding neck, which is beautiful, but everything is about balance. All right, with the strings back on, we'll flip it over, we'll pull this uh, control cavity cover and take a look at the electronics. Nice feature of the Epiphone. Uh, it's great that they're using CTS pots, so these are higher quality than just your typical import pots. Everything's hand wired under there. I'm still pushing for Epiphone to use switchcraft, toggle switches, and output jacks too. That'd be nice. Well, without the maple cap, the Les Paul Specials are usually a little lighter, so let's get a weight. Nice, seven pounds, five ounces. So you're talking just under seven and a half pounds. Flipping the guitar around for initial reaction, definitely the first thing you'll notice is a big fat 50s neck, which is a hallmark of these Les Paul uh, juniors and specials from the day, from the 50s. And uh, super cool if you like that thicker neck, but that's probably one thing you need to realize is that yes, it's a great way to get P90s, but you've got to like that thicker neck compared to the slim taper. Good ring to the guitar. Feels great out of the box. All that's left to do is plug it in and play it. Remember, if you're in the market for a brand new guitar or any new gear, use that purchase link in our description because it supports our channel directly. Let's get it plugged in. I'm gonna show you some direct clean tones, crank up a riff through a Fender Deluxe Reverb, and then let it sing behind a track. Drop a comment as we go and keep watching till the end. I'll give you five reasons why this is a must-own guitar from Epiphone. Let's do it.
Okay, this Epiphone Les Paul Special sounds and feels incredible. I'm starting to learn to manage my expectations with Epiphone. What I mean by that is, of course, it's undeniable this is an incredible value. At $449, you're getting a guitar that's, what, a quarter of the price of the Gibson at $1799, and it's pretty much a direct comparable. Um, I love the guitar. There were some issues out of the box. We get it from the factory so that we can kind of test the experience of really playing it straight out of the box. There was a nut that popped off. There is, as I play the guitar now, there is a little bit of a buzz. Now, listen, I'm in the middle of the winter here in the Midwest, and guitars go through a whole heck of a lot when they get shipped from overseas to this cold, cold climate. So it's good to know how to adjust your guitar. Um, if there's issues with the guitar itself, the good thing about buying from an authorized retailer is if you get one that's just not put together right, you can always send it back. But what I'm learning when I say manage my expectations is I think the build quality of the guitar itself has been consistently really good. I've been impressed with the feel of the neck, the construction of the body. The weak points in the Epiphones that I've experienced tend to be something like the components, like the maybe the output jack or the three-way switch. That's an easy fix or replacement. Um, the nut kind of popping out um, is an easy re-glue. You know, these are all kind of minor things and it's kind of like, yes, you have to acknowledge you get what you pay for. You're not paying $17.99 for an American-made Gibson. You're paying $4.49 for a guitar that's made well, but in high production numbers in China. And if you get one that has any issues, your first course of action, send it back to the authorized retailer, get a new one. Or if it's something minor and you're going to rewire the guitar, you're going to tackle it yourself. If you get one that feels great, like this guitar feels great, you keep it and deal with it. But I'd like to know your approach. What is your mindset when you buy an Epiphone? I can think of two players. I can think of like a professional player who says, you know what, it's a great value. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to rewire it. I'm going to do my own thing with it. Where I worry when I see a couple quality control issues is for that new person coming into the guitar market. I'm talking about, you know, guitars on your birthday, guitars under the Christmas tree, something that's being given as a gift, especially to a young player. I don't want that young player to be psyched to get a new guitar and then open it up and have a three-way switch that doesn't work or something wrong with it. And there's an undeniable fact that when you make them in high numbers and apparently you don't, you know, necessarily inspect them enough, it either is going to fall on you, the consumer, or it's going to fall on the shop, which I don't think is right. I think it should fall on the factory to do the quality control. That long-winded speech to say that overall, it's a fantastic value. I'm super impressed by the sound. I'm going to give you my top five reasons to buy this guitar now. Number one, I am super impressed by these Epiphone Pro P90 soap bar pickups. These are the same ones that are an example, uh, the $999 Tony Iommi SG Special. Same ones. Number two, I am impressed by this neck feel. If you like a 50s neck, a Les Paul Special and Les Paul Junior always have had that fat 50s neck and I think it's awesome. This one just feels fantastic. I have a preference for that, but you have to prefer the 50s neck if you're gonna go this route. Number three, I think the Indian Laurel boards, I'm gonna add this to the list of big standout features. Indian Laurel feels great. I love Rosewood. Indian Laurel is a great substitute. Far better in my opinion than something like Powell Farrell, which I'm not as big of a fan of. Uh, number four, it's nice that they give you the CTS pots. And number five, the stylings. You're getting that vintage throwback TV yellow. I love the ivory button uh, Clusen style double line deluxe tuners. I think the whole package looks so sharp and it's so impressive that you're getting this at 449. I had a few kind of cosmetic and setup issues which need to be addressed. So that's basically not acceptable and either has to be dealt with by me the consumer or the shop you buy it from, or the, preferably the factory gets it right the first time. Drop your experience with Epiphone. I definitely would endorse this guitar so long as you know everything is fun functioning correctly. It sounds and plays great. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, when you're in the market to buy gear, use our purchase link. You can click on our link, browse around sounds for any of the gear that you need, and buy using our link because it supports our channel directly. Thanks so much for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed this look at the Epiphone Les Paul Special. I really dug it. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.